Well, I'm doing that, oh. so I'm doing one for Party Hard, and then there's one for Grip that I'm gonna work on. What's Grip? Is that from the Quip part or the Quop? The Quop? You remember? Quop? You know Quop? No. Is that like a that? special chocobo? You don't know Quop either? Quop? I know no, Grip. Quop. Grip is like a uh... flash game. Yeah. It, do you remember? Do you remember that game Blur? Oh. That came out. Kinda. It was like it was like a. Oh, uh, yeah. It was like Midnight Club so mixed fast. with like Mario Kart. I could barely see it. It was like a blur. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was barely here. <laughs> <laughs> it was gone in a in a flash, or maybe more of a blur. All right. I thought I saw it. I didn't really <laughs> tell. It was a little blurry. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Just the worst, right? I love it. I don't know. It looks Who cool. We are. Not cool enough to review <laughs> <laughs> That's mainly because we get like we have you all these games. Post an article that just has that sentence. Cool, but not. This cool is enough not. To this is not cool enough to review. Sorry. Well, because the, reviewing and they a game it like, like a nine out of ten. I didn't want to take another on another review with Red Dead coming out, so I said, "Well, we have all these games coming out, or all these game codes for games that are trying to come out like right. during Red Dead. Why don't we just do like a Let's Play? These like, poor one, games, Red Dead. Like one Let's Play." Of each of like a few games here and there. I think that's fine. Yeah. I mean, doing party hard, and and then to like it so. And then the video yeah. will be over in a blur. Uh huh. This game isn't called Blur. What's it called? <laughs> it's like Blur. It's called Grip. Oh, I just can't get a grip of what it's called. Apparently. Uh, yeah. It's just gone in my brain in a blur. Hey. Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm done with you guys. Done. Get out of here. Why am I here. Anymore. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Morons. <sighs> Let's start the Red Dead Party Hour right now. All right, hello, welcome to Ben's OP Game Show, recorded live at 6 p.m. Pacific time every Friday. Twitch.tv slash The Game Fanatics. And today, like some days. I'm joined by Logan. Howdy, y'all. And Joel. There's a snake in my birds. <laughs> birds? <laughs> he tried. He tried to... I'm a the what? Okay. My birds. My There's birds a snake have in my birds. so many snake snakes bird. in them. Uh, so yeah, yeah no snake. if you haven't figured it out, there's a Western game that came out today. Uh, and that's what we'll be talking about. All Red Dead, all time. All the Reds and the Deads. That's what I said. Oh, God. Um, is that what we're yes. going to talk about the whole time? I mean, I think there's a good amount to talk about. I haven't touched it. Yeah, he but, hasn't touched it. But that's, I mean, you can ask questions. I'll tell you what. The case smells awesome. They They'll usually. Smell the map. It's got that can. new, it's got that new case smell. There's two huh. discs, which is weird. Oh, it's a big game. Right. A, definitely, a definitely data disc. Normal data disc which is cool probably useless now that it's done installing well and then there's a play disc yeah it's not the first time that's happened i've never seen it in my life ever ever this fucking happened all the time in like the ps2 ps1 not the ps2 nope yeah ps1 there was final fantasy with four discs yeah I think stuff like lying. go play it's not, it's not uh, pc gaming yeah <laughs> pc gaming had that shit all the time I know, I remember, I still have, um... Now he knows. I still have Knights oh. of the Old Republic when they originally released with, like, all eight discs. Yeah, I still have Baldur's yeah. Gate that also had eight discs. Baldur's. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, to me, I always just remember the Diablo 2 because it had a disc just for cinematics. And it, you'd, like, beat oh, an shit. act and it says, put in the cinematics disc. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm that, in. You know... I kind of wish they would do that nowadays. Cause I'm like, well, I skipped through most of this shit anyways, and then just toss the disc in the garbage. Oh my! I don't gosh. think you could. I think you needed to. Wa no, you could probably skip it. Ugh. Blech. Anyway, that's a very old game. We need to not talk about these old games. Let's talk about the new Red Dead Two game. Ooh, new and shiny. It is very shiny. It is very pretty. This is yes. This um, is very gorgeous. I wouldn't even say like because the art style is so well done it doesn't it's not something i'm looking at constantly and saying wow that's really pretty but if i stop and look at it it's just so impressive 
how like cohesive. It doesn't yeah. have that weird stiff look from like uh, GTA Five. You know, GTA Five. Like you look at the characters and they don't look great, but no. they also kind of feel really stiff. It doesn't seem like it has that. It it really doesn't. It seems like a large jump in uh, making people not look like spooky robots, or making them all look the same. Like like I've gone through a couple different towns and. I guess I'm not stopping and looking to see if they are looking the same, but everyone feels relatively unique. Distinct enough, I guess. Yeah. So, how long have you been... Because I was, I was new to the Red Dead hype train in terms of... I don't even know if I got on the train. I just kind of looked at the train and said, I guess I should get on the train. But how long have you been anticipating this game uh i was a big fan of the first one i didn't play it at launch i played it like right after undead nightmare came out for Hmm. the expansion for it the dlc and i was like okay i want to try this and i I played the crap out of it and, and undead nightmare and i enjoyed both of them a lot they told us red dead redemption 2 was being worked on okay great i'll play it when it comes out but it wasn't like I was clambering for every little detail or every little trailer. Like, when it's here, it's here. And, like, okay, I'm excited. It's out. Oh, it got delayed? Oh, well, I'll just wait till it comes out. It wasn't like, ah, like, oh, shit, like, I can't believe it's not out yet sort of deal. I was cautiously hyped for it. Mm-hmm. So, but, like, I, I'm happy to be playing it right now and really excited to play through the game. So has it yeah. lived up to expectations for you? Um, Overall? I, 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 I think it's met them. I don't think okay. it's surpassed yeah. them. There are some things that are like re- done really well and some things that are really surprising and that I like a lot, but then there's also some things I don't like so far and kind of find um, hindering. Sure. The I, fact that there's no cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't drive a car through the. Can't drive a freaking Porsche. Town. You can drive a horse. Oh, ah, it was dang. just a bad joke day. It's all it is. No, that was good. I like that one. Oh, do you? <laughs> uh, it's because you're a dad. You like all the dad jokes. <laughs> I do. I love dad jokes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so mainly, I like I like giving out pity laughs. That's kind of like my specialty. Oh, thank you. That made it better. Yeah. So well, you'll never know. <laughs> you'll never know. I think I found out though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't, I, you know, I, I tried to play Red Dead 1 on the PS3 like four years ago, maybe not even, yeah. maybe three years ago. And it's it's not unplayable, but it's just kind of a lot to get into and a, and a game that's very janky from today's standards. Yeah. And mainly what made me interested in this game, besides the presentation, and I like Westerns enough and the setting enough to be interested in it was the kind of the interaction you can have with other NPCs. And we'll get into that later. But the whole promise of this diverse relationship you can have with just a random person like, oh, I'm going to insult them or whatever. I'm going to try and persuade them to leave me alone. That system seemed promising. So that was enough to get me to pre-order it. And Mm -hmm. just comparing it to Red Dead 1, and I know a lot of people don't, like the opening to this game and i think it's too slow is what a lot of people are saying for red Dead redemption 2 for red dead 2 i yeah, loved i loved the opening i loved how slow it was i loved how linear it was and how it didn't let you do anything like just tell me this story uh, and then it opened up and it still even now feels like every mission is kind of a tutorial yeah doesn't yeah. it start in the snow yeah it starts it in the snow that's so funny because GTA Five also started in the snow. Yeah, well, this snow is very much prettier. They, they what if want they to show started off every Rockstar game engine. in the snow? I mean, they could. Yeah, it's not that hard. Bully two. Bully two snow. Snow days. Snow days. Yeah. Oh, I could be the title for it. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. But I, I love its deliberate 
kind of style. Uh, oh, and, and Joel, you listened to Greg Miller, who didn't necessarily like the game. I haven't listened to that podcast yet. Yeah, what do you are, want me to tell you what what he didn't like? Yeah, about like it? what does he not necessarily like? Because so, I really, I really controls. love the slow, everything like slow about it. I'm going through houses, like opening drawers, picking up garbage out of their drawer. My hat falls off. I go back and get my hat. Like, I'm I'm into this bullshit. So I mean, I'm mainly like paraphrasing and kind of like summing up. I what I took as his problem with the game was that he likes playing as the good guy. He likes knowing that the character he is playing as and the choices he is making are are affecting the game in a positive way. Mm. Um, so he felt like he would make all these choices to be a good guy in the game, but then he would have to go, you know, he'd be robbing a train and like his character is forced to rough up this person that doesn't want to give up their jewelry or whatever. And so he felt like it was, even though he was trying to steer his character one way, this the game already had a direction and wanted to steer him this way. Sure. And I think because he had, he was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey and he had all this freedom and like everything about that game made this one feel a little more restricting, I guess. That's what I took from it. I I can understand that, but it, I, yeah, but at the end of the day, you're an outlaw. You're yeah, that's true. And I mean, in the main, the main name of the game is redemption, right? Or part of the titles, redemption. So it's a third of and the like, game. Whatever. Like John Marston, <laughs> John Marston, right? Became a redeeming character. I wouldn't know. Uh, oh well, he did. Oh yeah, you didn't play it. I actually, no. I loved Red Dead Redemption. Um, I regret not playing Undead Nightmare. Oh, it's so good. I have three regrets in my life. That's one of them. Wow. <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> I would say Undead Nightmare is better than the main game. Oh, well, I mean, it's just different, right? It's so good, though. Yeah, but, I mean, I really liked Red Dead um, Redemption. Like, overall, I wasn't super hyped for this. I think the closer we got to it, the more I was like, okay, cool. I'm excited because everyone else is excited. And this was yeah. one of the biggest games of the year got swept and we've already there. gotten we've already gotten through all the other big games like god of war and um spider-man and i'm just ready for this next big game um plus yeah, it's also nice because I, I i really wanted to get assassin's creed odyssey and i just felt like i could only do one huge open world at a time right now and so i decided to go with red dead over odyssey yeah and there a part of me was like what if i mainly because i listened to like greg's interpretation of it and other people that have similar critiques of it too and i was like what if i end up not liking this undergrad not getting assassin's creed odyssey instead it's possible it's possible yeah i for one i don't think like i always try when i played mass effect i was always the good character but it felt like in that game i was playing as a blank slate when you start this game as arthur and i because I was so out of the loop, I thought it was just the opening tutorial that you're going to play as him, and then you're going to play as what's-his-face in the first game. I was like, I don't know how that's going to work. But then you keep as this guy. I'm like, that's how I have no nothing, right? But I'm like, <laughs> this guy's kind of an asshole, and I kind of dig it. I kind of dig how he is a bad guy, but he's sometimes good, but he's mostly bad, but I'm going to help this lady out or whoever. He does what he needs to do. Yeah, it's kind of a, a true neutral kind of way to look at it or you know closer to the center i i feel like that's how i'll be playing it is i mean what kind of sucks is like not knowing like if i come across somebody and i just look at them and i'm like i don't fucking like you like (laughs) just like well you have the option fuck them up right but i mean like you know those side side missions right when someone's on set like help he's robbing me i was like if i look at them and i'm like yeah i don't really give a shit but if then i look at the guy and he's like being a douche or i'm just like i really don't like the way he looks so I, i'll tell you the story i got uh this guy on the side of the road he's like shooting at bottles on a cliff and i walk over to him like hey you know i'll do a little competition with you bet five dollars that i you know i can hit more bottles than you i'm like fine so then i do it i hit more bottles than him and he says okay double or nothing we're gonna wait for all these birds to fly into the sky and shoot them and that's fucking impossible the birds are flying everywhere so I shoot one bird down with dead eye and he's like, Oh, I win. You're going to have to pay up. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to kill you. Oh, geez. And I just killed him. And I left. 
Like, fuck you, idiot. I don't like your game. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> so that's the kind of character I'm playing in this game. Nice. There was another... This this is... Okay. If we could just get to random nonsense. And I think this will be kind of some of your complaints with it, Logan. Yeah. Uh, the controls for everything are so... Like, how, how many buttons can I be pressing at this time? I don't know. How about four? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, press and release a combination. Just I, Exactly. I got, a, I got a bounty on my head for defacing a sign or, or, some, or property damage. That was what it was. <laughs> property damage. Because I pressed the wrong button to stop the horse, and I just, like, ran into a wall. <laughs> and I'm like, now? And then, like, a witness runs away. I'm like, what the fuck? Just the horse. Why'd the horse run into the building? <laughs> Right. What is happening? I've heard some pretty funny things, like glitches in the game that people have experienced. I've only had a few, few glitches, but there, there really is a control plo- uh, problem. Problem. Problem with it, problem. where, uh, like Logan, like you're saying, hold L1 to have the menu up, and then cycle through it, and you're pressing all the triggers to cycle the other things, and then if you use the analog stick and release L1, then it does this. But I'm also like trying to fight in a gun battle so I'm using the right trigger to aim and do this and I'm doing that I'm like why is this so convoluted and then it has the same problem that I have with fucking San Andreas where you just have to ma- uh, mash the X button to run and stuff like that like what no other oh, games I hate that. no other games play like this why why do I have to do that to gallop on the horse I'm constantly just pressing X like why though why can't I just fucking ride the horse it wants you to feel the no, no, the exhausted no you know, the feeling of like oh it's man, it's awful. This, it is hurting. Bad. It is bad. No. And what's and the problem is is that there's a normal menu like when you go into like you hold your right trigger or right D pad to open up the satchel. Then yeah. it's a normal menu where you can like click and organize and switch categories. Where you're not holding down buttons, you're just moving through a normal menu system. But when you're trying to do switch a weapon, um, switch items on your horse, or take items from your horse into your own inventory, it's that combination thing. Hold L1, hold R1, switch with R2, and then release L1 on the item you want to equip or do something with. And it doesn't work half the time. And I'm like, I'm sitting there looking at the screen, looking at my controller, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it right this time. And I do it, and it's not <laughs> happening. And I just don't understand why that has to be the menu scheme or the controller scheme. I, I'm can't really... I just have a normal menu? Yeah, like, why can't it just stop? Or maybe just keep going, but don't have me hold down the button. Yeah, uh, just let me press. Don't let me hold. The whole thing is weird, because you do end up pressing... I mean, it feels like half the buttons on the controller when you're in this menu. Uh, it does. Especially and... if you're, like, in the heat of the moment battle. You're like, oh... Yeah, well, I have a problem with the... Because it has an interesting health and uh, stamina system where there's kind of a... Uh, how, like, how well you regenerate health is yeah. also a meter, and I think that's the really cool. System. But I don't know, like, what items I need to use to heal that. And then when you go to into the menu to look at it, there's just items everywhere. And I, I'm like, I don't know. like I, <laughs> It's messy. You just have to compare the icons. I know, but... I, I feel like I've used a bunch of potions and they didn't do what I thought they were going to do because it like didn't, I don't know. I just don't understand. Like, what did I heal? I drank something. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Yeah. Well, like, well, like some of them will help your core, which helps the regenerative yeah. side of it. But then some will actually like do your life. So, I, yeah, so it, it's, it's, all, I, it's messy. It's messy. And I like the system and I think I'll get used to it. But I, at first, I haven't drank that many potions because I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sleeping. I'm not drinking any. I'll, no, I will sleep. I'll go sleep instead of drinking a potion because I don't know what ha- what's happening. I know. Uh, so there's stuff like that. Do you have any issues with the aiming? Kind of. I agree with kind uh, of. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes it works really well and sometimes it feels like it's not doing what I'm telling it to do. Um. And that's where Deadeye comes into play. Yeah. Because, like, there's the, um, what, like, the auto-aims. Like, you'll pull out the gun and it'll automatically... And it's aggressive. Place it on the, 
Yeah, it is. And I like and that. I think that's cool. It's not aggressive enough. Hmm. Like, I, like it moves onto the enemy, and that's fine. But then they move away, and it's still like I don't know. It, not working. It, it doesn't feel i know at the beginning in the snow and those couple shootouts i really liked the shooting because yeah. i think in in retrospect i could see them i could see exactly where they are now that i'm in the forest i don't know there's just bodies in the trees i don't know where anyone is yeah just the color scheme and what they're wearing everything they like blend in and that's where you have to rely on the auto target system to like find them yeah but the game so far as forgiving enough to me, I mean, I think you're for much further than I am, but, mm -hmm. and I'm not getting into that many shoots except for the guys that just randomly shoot. Uh, it, it it works fine enough. I haven't had another big shootout where I was like, okay, this is this the first big main story one in the forest I did, where yeah. which I don't even know because it, it it kind of doesn't steer you in a direction. It kind of gives you a bunch of different missions. So I could have done yeah, could 20 have other things. Do that. And that's actually what I like about it, too, mm -hmm. with the open world, is that it's just a bunch of... It's not... Like, there are bounties and um, debt-collecting kind of traditional, quote-unquote, side missions. But everything else just seems to be a mission with a story it's telling. And I, I really appreciate that, as opposed to just finding a bunch of nonsense. It has more of a purpose. Yeah. yeah, a lot of a lot of the side missions have that, and just just random encounters feel kind of like that too. That it's not just a quick event. Like I saved the guy, and now he's back at my camp. Like there was a good consequence to that action. So, are yeah. you recruiting people throughout the? Not actively. Throughout the missions or no? Okay. Yeah. Because I know you can upgrade your camp, but I'm wondering, does that, like, attract people to your camp? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of convoluted as to if I'm donating things to my camp correctly, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Well, I know that I was listening to the giant beast cast yeah, today. Yeah, shit, it was today. Oh, my God, what a long-ass day. Um, <laughs> and they were talking about, like, how... They made sure to upgrade like their the amount of money that the other people in the camp give or can give so that you're spending less money there. Mm. Oh, okay, I should do that. It's a good yeah. idea. That's that's one of the tips they were saying and I was like, God, there's just so much. There's, there's so much. I like that though. It there's a lot of systems, but it's not you need to do this. You need to sleep every day, otherwise your stamina is dead. You need to pet your horse every five minutes. It has all those systems, and they do play a role, but it's yeah. not as convoluted like The Witcher 2. When they first launched The Witcher 2, you had to make like seven potions just to fight a boss because they intentionally designed it that way, and it's obnoxious. Fuck that. Whereas yeah. this has, it has that complexity, but it's not as required. Yeah. Also, Joel... This and guy's I was worried about that. This guy's name is Jimmy Brooks. Just so you know. Jimmy Brooks? Yeah. Continue, Logan. Uh, you distract me. No, one of the things I was worried about when the before the game came out was am I gonna have to keep up on all these systems? Am I gonna have exactly. to keep up on my camp, on my health, my horse's health? Like all my camp members being happy and this and that, but it's not as drilled in as I thought it was gonna be. Which no, is nice, that I could just play the game. He casually. looks nothing like Drizzy, by the way. That's too bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not like Don't Starve or something. Yeah, which is nice. I love to Don't Starve though. Well, but this is this would not work. <laughs> they look exactly the same. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> this looks don't exactly starve your horse. Starve. Or yourself. All right, I want to hear. Well, you have any other thoughts? I mean, I guess we'll bring in other thoughts, but I kind of want to just do uh, weird, yeah, there's a couple things. weird anecdotes. So, but if you have a yeah. few more things, we can go into that. Sure. Uh, one of the things I really like, so obviously it being a Rockstar game, it's the little details that really stand out as compared to like, I mean, the big overall world does, but also the small details. One of the things I liked in this game 
at the beginning and is continuous through the game is when you're picking up items and seeing them you actually like look at them grab the item and put it in your pack mm. as compared to just like walking around and just pressing square on an item and it's automatically in your inventory i, right? I love the like animation drawers you're pulling them out you're putting them in your pocket like that's really cool that's really cool to see yeah when you're putting like a carcass on your horse and stuff it's just so it, satisfying there yeah like I had one on my horse, I was like, I don't know how to get rid of this. I just learned how to sell the carcass on my horse because I couldn't pull it off. I had to go up to a butcher to do it. You can pull it off. I didn't. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it wouldn't give me the option. But what I'm saying also is, I think I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not confident. It was on the back of the horse. I had to go to the butcher, get off at the. A horse at the butcher to give me the option to sell the carcass on the back of the horse see so i've been it sounds like i've been wasting time by taking it off the horse and walking over with it like a moron <laughs> have you skinned a rabbit yeah oh, oh my god that's an animation holy shit this man is a sociopath <laughs> he like sticks <laughs> his hand in this rabbit's anus and rips the skin right at like one smooth oh, motion Jesus. yeah just whoosh. it's insane <laughs> i think i audibly gasped when i saw it it's like whoa dude <laughs> you're like oh shit it's like you didn't even use a knife shit yeah it was nuts though yeah, some of the some of the gore elements in this game are pretty, pretty out there. Especially when you're finding, um, there's like a side mission. And you're trying to find this killer, and he does these like in, intense, gory um, gravestones with like body parts and intestines everywhere. Oh, I found one of those. Yeah, and so those are all throughout the map. And perfect. They're pretty disturbing. Yeah, I, I know. I saw the one who was in half, just a half man. Okay. How do, you feel, how do you feel about the size of the map so far? Like, just the areas that you have seen and explored on the map compared to, like, the size of the overall map? Like, do you feel like it's going to be a pretty big game? I can't even see the overall map. Yeah, I have no idea. Right, that's what I mean. Like, when you zoom out and you see, you see everything that's not discovered yet, do you feel like... You, I don't you know. the size of it. I feel like the I map have, is going to expand I because... Can't. It, you yeah, can't, can't zoom out, right? All the way. It's yeah. still... Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking of, like, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, where it's like, oh, shit, man, this keeps going. <laughs> yeah, no, this... I mean, it's big. It's definitely big. It's pretty big. The one thing... it It's not like a Ubisoft game where, oh, there's a cabin over here, and let me loot it, and then, oh, you completed this cabin. Like, there's really no way to know that yeah. you're yeah. done with x area or that you've been there it just kind of it's almost freeing in a way where i don't need to check off that box because there's no box to check i guess i've been there maybe i haven't it doesn't matter and necessarily also, can happen there again yeah Yay, like i read that's done place, i went to a place talked to them and then left and then came back like a couple days in game later and there was an event going on there so you know they're progressive there's a lot of dynamic events yeah it's crazy i had okay so here's my fun story there's this know. guy and i'm not even sure what the hell he was doing but he was off his horse he was like behind it and he's like you gotta help me you gotta help me so i slow down to help him and the horse just bucks him and yeah. kills him oh, geez. and runs away and i'm just standing there like huh what that happened yeah that's a scripted moment i know yeah but that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, sure oh, where it happened yeah. is random. You get off and loot him. Yeah, I think I took his hat. There was a guy oh. I killed like that where I took his hat and then a stagecoach went by and it was like, oh, hey, guys. Oh, I have nothing going on here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll have witnesses like see you commit crimes and you like have to take care of them. Oh, I hate witnesses. Yeah. Hate them. Well, yeah, one of the things is the physics engine in this game it's like almost too realistic at times because mm -hmm. i got ambushed by a group of people this is when my horse died well, i got ambushed and i'm like turning my horse to like point my gun at them and my horse runs into a fucking tree knocks me off mm -hmm. flying down a cliff it's rolling down the cliff it dies i get up and then i get attacked and i die because i lost all my health tumbling down this hill because <laughs> my horse turned and hit this tree and just like 
crumpled on the ground while I flew. Yeah, they're using... Um, I don't know if they used it for GTA Five, but they have this... It, it's the same... Uh, well, updated, obviously, but it's the same physics engine they used for Four, and you can uh -huh. actually download it. That's how nerdy I am. You could download, like, a free version of it back in the day, and you make, like, little simulations where it has humanoid people, and you just, like, throw things at them, and it does oh. the physics simulations and and have them get up dynamically. So they've been a big proponent of that forever. And in this one, it's very advanced. Like, the things, like, you're talking about, it, like, dynamic rolling down the hill and him getting up on uneven terrain is all procedurally done it's not animations yeah. it's impressive it's really cool stuff yeah i have also run into a tree on a horse so <laughs> i feel you're bound, oh, it's bound to happen to everyone <laughs> i i was very and upset like the response like even running a horse into someone else's horse will like cause a collision of physics and you'll like fall off and shit will happen <laughs> oh. so if your horse dies are you just without a horse until you purchase another one yeah no when my horse died, it like there was another one that came up, it, like a cheap, weak one, just to get me out of there. Cause I was, I wasn't near a town, but it just gave me a horse. Hmm. The horse gods. Yeah, the horse gods. The horse like, gods have blessed you today. <laughs> the horse gods have, have blessed that, me with weird stuff. Yeah, I only had one horse die, so I don't know if that was just like a freak accident or if that happens every time or. But it's unfortunate because I don't want my horse to die because your horse just grow levels and yeah. gains extra health and stamina and stuff. And so I was really bummed when my horse died. So I'm looking at like the progress menu. So there's like story progress, compendium, challenges. There's and so then much. Total completion. Yeah. So much. That's pretty cool. I think, I think it said I was 13 per 13 or 14 percent total completion. Yeah. And then 11 with the story. I'm not sure how much I played, but, but I really like it a lot more than I, you know, when you go into something not very hyped and it's a good game, it's probably going to be a good time for you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I my, think I was, I was almost less hyped because everybody was already claiming like game hyped. of the generation, game of the year. And it's like, I don't, well, hold on a second. God of War is fucking awesome. <laughs> like, I think I like this more than God of War. No way. So far. Wow. Because God of War... God of War didn't blow me away. It was just really well made. God of War didn't make me hold a billion buttons to do a menu. Yeah, that's true. See, that's the thing. If I play ten more hours of this game, it might start being a problem. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it really depends what you value certain games, too. Like, I think, to me, God of War stands out because it was a character I was attached to, but that I was tired of. And came back refreshed, and in a whole new way with a story that actually like I connected with and was just kind of surprised by. And this, you know, with Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm, it's a prequel. So the story, continuing the story of whatever happened last time, wasn't really going to be that great of a story to tell anyways. So going to something with a new character that happens before the last, like it's, it's such a weird, like continuation of the story that happens before but yeah, I don't understand. With everything about this game, like, just how crazy the world is, like, just how much of a living world it actually is, like, I'm so interested in seeing that, just everything about it, the technology in it, the mm -hmm. people, what they do gameplay-wise, like, I just can't wait to see all that. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm, it's going to not be game of the year. I'm just, like, I think people were already so overhyped with it without it even being out yet and very little information up until you know a few weeks before it came out it's just for uh, sure so to me it it wasn't that i was like not high for it. it's like i was excited i'm excited for this game like everything i've heard about has always been pretty cool but like i'm not really a big fan of western so it doesn't really grab me as much as like oh as like you know um norse mythology would i but yeah but that's gonna be different because I really loved Red Dead Redemption. It was one of my favorite games on the PS3. So, mm -hmm. you know, I really like the Western setting because it's not used at all. Yeah, like you don't see hardly any Western games, so it's very uh, fresh and unique. 
and everything else. Yeah. Like Assassin's Creed, all right, cool. It's, it's Odyssey now. It's not. It's not Egyptian. It's it's different, but it's still Assassin's Creed. But this is like a whole different level. Yeah. Well, and and it's also like to me, um, thinking about the fact that I didn't like Call of Duty World War Two because it had old guns in it and it just wasn't as cool as like futuristic guns. This is totally different because of the way you use the guns in this game and the fact that it's an open world and I'm not like trying to upgrade my weapons to have, you know, badass uh, red light. What is it? Red dot sights and sure. all sorts of attachments and stuff. So uh, I'm really excited. I'm like, I have like my game sitting here paused and I'm just like staring at it like, fuck man. Uh, get get ready. <laughs> I, re- I really like it. I like all the minutia nonsense. I mean, I'm going through the, the store book in the video for like what they sell i love all the nonsense like that annoying guy at gamestop that like looks through the pre-order catalog and i was like come on bro (laughs) don't you know (laughs) use the internet (laughs) yeah cowboy get the internet the damn internet cowboy i think one of my my favorite things to do (laughs) i I want more of these missions because there only were two so far we're like the the bounties at the sheriff's office mm-hmm. and there's the one i'm assuming you did both of those yeah yeah i i so i did the one with the woman and i okay so i find where she is i'm crouched down with the lasso out i'm ready i'm ready to get her she's talking with some dude and i'm walking on this hill to find her and she's got a red spot on the map and i'm standing right on top of it i'm like oh, she's below me in a cave. And I start creeping around the side of the cave, crouch down, whatever. But because of this physics system, I it was too steep, and I fall, and I roll in front of them with my lasso out like a jackass. And they're like, what is this? And this guy is like, nope, I don't want anything to do with you. He can take you, because she's crazy. And she goes... Stab, stabs him like I tried to throw the lasso and I missed her she just kills him and then she starts running at me with the knife and I lasso her like, you're crazy but it was a, such a fun moment of oh I was trying to be stealthy and I fucked that up real good <laughs> yeah real nice I love stuff like there's so many moments like that in this game of like because I could have come and done that a completely different way uh, and had a I, I probably could have saved him if I hadn't have screwed it up, probably, yeah, probably, probably. I'm not sure if it's scripted or not. I mean, I could have shot her in the foot, or yeah, you're something. Right. Yeah, and that's what like this is like a water cooler game, right? You have all these different scenarios and events that happen that are unique to you because of oh the physics engine you slipped and fucked up. That's <laughs> no. not gonna happen to everyone, but it happened to you, so you get to share that experience, and it's and it's that that's really cool, and so. You know, in a week's time, when we come back and talk about this game, we'll all have stories like that because we're all playing this game. We'll all have random fuck ups like that, and that's probably my favorite feature. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's probably one of the coolest things about games like this is like coming back together and being like, "Oh my god, let me tell you what happened here. This is what happened to my horse. It fell off the cliff. Stuff like <laughs> yeah. that." Oh no. We I mean, kind of tell our own story. I think that's what happened to Dan Reichert's horse. He like summoned it, and it either fell off a cliff or it ex- it like spawned in a fire. Oh my god, that's a good place. <laughs> that's... Oh, I remember, I still remember that from the original Red Dead Online. Like when um, I would summon my horse, and I was like maybe down below in like a enemy encampment or whatever, and I would just see it on the map coming in, like just hauling ass. And then I'd look over like <laughs> above my screen, like above the top corner of my screen, and just see it fly off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Still running in midair. <laughs> it was yeah. just a Pegasus. Fly. There you go. Yeah, it's Pegasus. I haven't seen anything like that happen yet. <laughs> I shot one guy like really close one time, and he went flying like twenty feet. So I don't know what happened there. But Whoa. besides that, nothing too weird. Yeah, I accidentally shot a guy's head off. I didn't even know you could shoot people's heads off. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, and, and when you compare okay, okay, bugs, when you compare bugs and Rockstar games compared to like Bethesda games, it's a huge difference. Like, 
Bethesda games are way buggier than a Rockstar game, usually. Yeah, and I, this feels what I've experienced. very... Good hour weeks. This is very not buggy. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard too many bad things about it, so... No. Excited. Excited. I think you should be. I, I really... You know, I was the one to win over since I didn't really care. Uh, and maybe that's why I like it. Um... But what, I, what I'd like to see, you know, I'm playing this game and I can't help but feel like I want this to be Fallout. I, I want to be looting these houses and going through and fighting weird zombie creatures. I want this to be Fallout more than I want it to be this, necessarily. Just a different type of open world. Yeah, this type of open world I think would work super well for a Fallout, for like a Last of Us almost type of game. I feel like watching some of the beta for Fallout 76 has kind of made me less interested in it because it is very just Fallout 4-ish. It's not even Fallout 4-ish. It's so much less than that. Yeah. It's like bare bones Fallout 4. It's weird. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't, know. I don't know about Fallout either. Yeah. I'm, I want to try the open yeah. beta, so hopefully I can get in there and try it and see what I really think. But I'm good. I was watching Josh play it on the on nerded upstream or uh-huh. internet extreme on facebook and i just felt less interested i don't know maybe it's because i've recently played fallout 4 maybe that's why that was that's very oh simple. yeah i very also basic, recently though. played fallout 4 again so i w- there's something i want to try in it because of the settlement trophy where you have to get a settlement to like 100 happiness or whatever 99. no thanks and and i've been trying to do it in sanctuary and it's like no that's like the hardest way to do it what you do is you get a small settlement, try to have as very little people there as possible, and you should be able to just set it up to where it's easier to make, to raise the happiness. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, that's true. There's less people to manage, less things to worry about. Smart. Announcement time? Announcement time! Announcement bow, time! Bow, bow. Joel has Twitch Prime now. I no. spoiled it. I'm well, so that's... sorry. No, it's not oh. that. Well, I... tune in next week for another announcement. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll say like part of the announcement and then like we'll cut it and it'll be like to be continued. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Tell no, us your I, announcement, uh, Joel. I have officially paid off Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh. Yay. Yay. That announcement I didn't know what to expect at all. <laughs> yeah, which means I'm for sure getting it. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. You should be. I'm excited. Yeah. We'll see if it even it. comes out this year. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I knew I should have put it towards it, Assassin's Creed. It seems like it's going to. <laughs> Good. Good. But yeah. It was like, because, so I was sitting there at GameStop and I had enough money to put towards another game. And so I was like, should I just get Assassin's Creed Odyssey? And then I saw no. the little poster for Smash Bros. No. Ultimate. I was, like, I was like, no. that I have an open world <laughs> game already. I'm going to need that for the Switch. Yeah, you know it's going to collect you. Us. So, yeah. Yeah, I also want to, like, be able to play with you guys or oh, something. Yeah. We're definitely going to. We'll definitely play that game. Like, I can't wait to Smash. Oh, that's oh. what you can talk about is the Grinch leak. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's the other big news is the the Smash leak, which be is becoming more and more real. <laughs> I no, guess. Are people yes. actually like, saying it's, it's legit or what? Yeah. And it's just it's just so extensive and exhaustive of Exactly. All the all these paper trails, all these like like the line f- or from from It's Always Sunny when he's on, or Charlie's in the mail yeah. room with all the yarn in the <laughs> yarn. map and everything. Like <laughs> Jesus. There's all these connections. Who is Pepe Silva, right? <laughs> Who is the Grinch? Who is this leaker? And though there's so much, see right here, I stole this goddamn vehicle, but I didn't re- mean to. I didn't steal it. I just sat down in it. Yes. But someone <laughs> saw you do that. So and then I got to chase them down like a jackass. Yeah. So that with this leak, they had, uh, and then he reported the crime and I failed because I was in the middle of a mission. Idiot. Fucking narcs. What a moron. Um, but it, it seems real. Cause they got like the guys linked in. And who used to work at this company, and then they have media publishing stuff for the Grinch movie, also in that video or oh, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. What the Grinch is going to be in Smash Brothers? No, no. It's, it's called the Grinch leak because 
this guy posted a picture. This French guy posted a picture oh, of, wait, wait. of the final banner of all the artwork of all the characters, and it includes like six other characters that have yet to be announced. Oh, already. that big old long poster they've been yeah. slowly like adding. And then in the corner, too. there's like unreleased pictures of Grinch Banjo. promo art as yeah. well. Yeah, unreleased so, that no one else would have. Yeah. And so like, people are like, oh, you know, it's real. They feel like they're tracking down this guy who's LinkedIn. They're looking at this guy or this marketing company's business. And they came out and talked about it. And, like, it's crazy. I think they need to take leaks more seriously. Uh, who? Companies. Like, if you leak this something, might they not come after be you. real. No, nah, come after them. It's take, so... Take Everything well, of away. course they would go after him. But if they did anything publicly right now, then it would confirm the leak. And no, I don't even think that. they'd want to do that. We don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't negotiate send, with terrorists. Send the mafia after them. <laughs> Is that how the mafia works? Just send them to hey, France. Man, they, they, I'm sure they love Smash Brothers too. okay? They take this shit seriously. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, and and so of course this league has characters that everyone wants in Smash Brothers. So it's like it's Kratos. almost too good to be true. Yeah, because it's Shadow, it's Banjo, it's Isaac, it's um, Gino, Gino, and then there's like the two random like chorus kids from Rhythm Heaven and fucking Mock Rider from whoever fucking knows what game that is. None and then Mock Rider like, sound awesome. And then people are like, well, look, Sakurai posted a picture of this character or some figure from the game a few oh months that's ago. right yeah I mean, it was related to something so they're like oh no like this is real blah 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 <laughs> or the leaker just you know saw that and so he threw in the character but then that's the other thing right there's the artwork on this fucking banner and they're like it's too well done like how did he have to move these characters to fit this and that and it's like oh my gosh people it's too well done I think it has to be real there was if a trademark real, there was that trademark what? today also with Banjo Kazooie. With Nintendo also being involved. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Because people, there was someone who said this, like, whoa, Nintendo owns Banjo Kazooie. I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? No, they don't. Doesn't no, they rare don't. Them? Yeah, rare. Uh, rare. It's like one of the rare things Rare owns. That. Uh, right. Nah. And that was the other thing. People asked, like, Microsoft, like, would you let Nintendo use banjo in the past and like random tweets and people have linked these today saying they're like yeah we'll totally do that we're down if they talk to us we'll do it yeah that's fuck i think it's real i think it's real i want it to be real. i want to believe yeah and then i, I told you have too many characters already. about the chorus kids or like a rhythm rhythm her- character rhythm heaven character in smash 4 like that information was there so yeah, it could all come to this. Do these do these random characters get used a lot? Like Game and Watch guy and fucking people love Game and Watch. Yeah, Wii Fit Trainer lady. I don't know about Wii Fit Trainer, but well, no, but I just don't understand why they add some of these characters that don't seem like super cool or appealing to you. Yeah, to you. Yeah, come on. Wii Fit Trainer does not seem appealing to anybody. I used Wii Fit Trainer quite a bit. Oh, well, you're weird. She has cool moves. Yeah. I really love yoga. It's, I think it's you're so missing the point of this yoga. game. Yeah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Fundamentally don't understand. I'm just saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to play with yoga, lady. Look, at yoga's oh stupid, gosh. man. <laughs> I wanted to throw the, like, Wii Fit board at a character. Oh, does she do that? No, but she should. Ah, oh, you like, fuck this piece of trash. It's huge waste of money. Yeah, dude, those things were hefty. Yeah, they were. Hef- it's like so ten hard. pounds. That's no, hefty. Man, I, I've picked up a few of those. That's hefty? They're at least a good seventy. That's a good seventy pounds. <laughs> should I lift <laughs> this or one of those it. big <laughs> dumbbells? I don't know. Like poor old people would get them and then not be able to take them off the floor. Well, I, I dropped the Wii Fit board on my foot and now it's in two pieces. My foot, not the board. <laughs> not the board. It went through the floor and took me with it. Yeah, what the hell? It killed my neighbor downstairs. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> we fit uh, claims another life. <laughs> That's my favorite game because it just would <laughs> straight up tell you, obese. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, like Nintendo, no. Wouldn't it say no, something? There's if, no like, beating were, around the bush on this one. If you're away from it too long, or you load it up after a while, it would say like, "Geez, where have you been?" Yeah, <laughs> it's been 700 days since you've done this. All right, nosy. Jeez. <laughs> Loads my... up and you stand on it. And it's like still huge. I see. <laughs> I guess it's my bad that uh, I wanted to try to get healthier but okay i guess i won't play with you condescend it, it negs you it's a disaster turn it on it's just a red screen that says give up it's just <laughs> give it up who who do you think you're fooling <laughs> oh man what were we talking about uh the smash bros leak. smash brothers it's Ultimate. a good leak man it, and it's just crazy how much it's taken fanboys by storm the I think it's crazy that they're gonna have DLC for it when it already has like. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it should. I feel like yeah, people are. Unless they're gonna add, does, what if they add like stages or game characters modes? at most? If they were to add like different stages and game modes, I think that'd be cool. I just don't There's think it's already so characters. many though. I, There's already 130 fucking stages. Yeah. In a billion battle modes. Poke floats. Um, yeah, bring poke floats back. I'm very upset. That, where's that leak? Where's that? Huh? They it's like in start the adding, uh, they just need to start adding all the Pokemon. Oh my god. No. <laughs> We're adding Generation 3. <laughs> We're adding, well, you know what they could add is Toad. They haven't added a Toad. Toad. Oh, oh yeah, mean, they haven't. Captain huh? Toad is an assist trophy. <laughs> and Toad's a move, but besides that. Yeah. I want them to add that really creepy looking Mario from Mario Maker. The really tall. Oh, stretchy yeah. Mario. I forget what yeah. I call him. <laughs> I don't know. He looks like creepy Mario. I hate that Mario. He's so Mario. funky looking. Yeah, I want him to be in it. I don't like him. He kind of looks like Waluigi, only not. He's like, wow, I'm going to be real tall. Lanky. I'm taller than you. Um, I jump real high now. <laughs> I think it'd be <laughs> Is that what he does? Isaac to be a character. From Binding of Isaac? No. no Golden Sun. <laughs> I'm super excited for Isaac. I want a real. new Golden Sun. Give me that. Give me that would be something. Love Golden Sun on GBA. Shit was cool. Give me, yeah, give me a remake of one and two on the Switch, and then release a new one. Exactly. Yeah. And maybe the third one. Sure. Why not? And DLC. Is this where I skin the rabbit? It might be. Oh, God, the shit. Resident Evil games are coming to Switch. Yeah. I think in 20, 2019 or something? No, it was a bird. It was a bird? It wasn't a is rabbit. Is Resident Evil 4, like, the other record holder for as many times as it's been ported? To be Skyrim? honest with you, I, <laughs> I think it's more than Skyrim. It really? It is. Well, because it's... Resident Evil 4 has been everywhere. It's like PS2, GameCube, Wii... I, was it on the Wii U? It might have been, but PS3, Xbox 360, PC... It's on Xbox oh, One and PS4. It's on mobile. On some it's shitty... Mobile. No yeah, way. It is. No way. It is. It is. There's it's, the mobile version. It's a shitty mobile game. I refuse. And then it got upgraded to an iPad edition. Okay. I think that's all of them. It wasn't on Vita. It wasn't on 3DS. Put it on Vita, cowards. I don't know if it was on... Yeah. I don't know if it was on Wii U. Might not have been. Uh, let me see. But it was on, it's been on basically every system that's come out since its release. I'm more interested in the other res it's Resident Evil Zero that's also coming out on it or Re Resident Evil Remake. Yeah, both Which of those are, are really good. Yeah, yeah I'm interested are. in those because I've played Resident Evil Four and it's like I think I'm just tired of looking at it. That's fine. <laughs> I Resident Evil One is phenomenal and Zero is actually really good. I just I think really they like hold Zero. up really well, like the art style that they used and the the, the models or whatever. Oh, the, the pre-rendered backgrounds look really good. Look really good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they look great. 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 Great, great, great. Great. I think this is... I'm but trying to the take... the tiger in Smash. Oh, no. What? <laughs> what happened? 
trying to no. <laughs> we don't need serial people. We we need the mascots Count of the Chocula, world in Smash Bros. Tony the Tiger. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, the Twinkie guy, the Twinkie Western guy. There's a Twinkie Why is guy. Red Dog. Yeah, yeah, the Ding Dong guy. All the hostess like they have, have characters. Do they? I want I want Mayor McCheese in it. That'd be cool. <laughs> I, want, I want Chester Cheeto. It's like Grimace. Chester Cheeto. Grimace in it. The Taco Bell Chihuahua. <laughs> oh. <laughs> be perfect. It's just the it's Jack in the Box. That would be a good character. Yeah, Jack. Jack from <laughs> Jack in the Box. <laughs> Fuck yes. We need him in Smash. That's a good pull. We just need like a Fast food, food mascot. Battle Royale. Food Battle fighters. Royale smash. Yeah, food fighters. Food fighters. I teen food ones. Oh, no, don't. No, <laughs> my theme is so bad, it's going to be in my head now. You're welcome. God, I, I hate that. With that. <laughs> Did you guys play anything else this week besides Red Dead, obviously? I played through all of um, Devil May Cry 1. Oh, oh yeah, cool. that's right. And it's really good, and also really not that great, but... Uh, that was a contradiction. It shows it's really its good. age. Also not it's really good. good, but it's not that good. Well, and it has, like, terrible difficulty balancing. It's just all over the goddamn place. And it's way too hard, but also not very hard, but also way too hard. I'm like, I don't understand this game. Um, but it's pretty cool. And, I, I, you know, I'd never beaten it or played much of it, but I love Resident Evil 4, which... Devil May Cry started out as Resident Evil 4 and then turned into Devil May Cry so it was cool to see all like parallels to, to that because there's like an underground sewer cavern you go into and uh, some enemies look very similar to Resident Evil 4 enemies it's, it's neat mm. it was neat. I mean it was solid 6 out I didn't want to play Assassin's Creed anymore before another open world game so I was like yeah let me just play something completely different. Yeah. And like playing Assassin's Creed, coming off of Spider-Man, there's so many open world games right now. And you play Tomb Raider, so that's that's kind of open world. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of lesser. It's I wouldn't world. really. Not okay. the way I played it when I had three days to play it. That's um, fair. This is me. You see me trying to get rid of this stupid bird? I had no idea what to do. I'm just carrying this bird around. And because of like a mission or something, I couldn't turn it in to the meat man. And then when you go to put it down, you teleport to the side and he puts it down there as like a designated spot for animals to be thrown on the floor. It's the weirdest <laughs> fucking thing. Next and marks the spot. And this is where dead bodies go, I guess. All right. <laughs> Seems Wait, that's weird. also where we poop. <laughs> I haven't seen the outhouse yeah. in this game. That's a good point. I don't think I played anything else though. Well, well besides a, holes and poop in them. I played a little bit of Devil May Cry 2, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep playing. It. Isn't that my the one that people lot. say is the worst? Oh my god, it's it's like I you'd think, that, think yeah, people true. were exaggerating. It's really not good. <laughs> like it's just but boring. Does it the same gameplay or what? It's just we're lucky we got three. Yeah, we're lo yes, but I, the, I guess here the problem with the game is they made it really boring. Like they actually fixed the controls and made them better, but the gameplay is just slow and the, like enemies don't even really do anything. You're kind of just fighting way too many of them, and to what end? It, it's just there's no fun to it. It just it's very stale. It's boring. It's a boring game. I played for an hour. Very boring. Okay. <laughs> I had to kill time for Red Dead, so I'm going to play right. some shitty game. I played Party Hard 2. Party Hard. Can you remind me what Party Hard is? Because I know it's familiar to me, but... So, it's just a game. It's like pixel graphics. Okay. <clears throat> so think of like um, the way Uncanny Valley looks. What? Or, I mean, just. You could Google the picture. But 
Um, basically, what you do is you find different ways to kill certain people. Well, like you have objectives, like kill four drug dealers, four sorters of the drugs, uh, blow up some army crates. Like basically, the whole point of the game is that you're a murderer. Um, you're obviously not like being sought after, but you are trying to sleep, and you you cannot get any sleep because the party next door is way too loud, and it's a club. Hold on, so you're, like, hold on. This is the game where you're trying to kill everyone but not get noticed not get noticed okay i remember so it. the yeah. main the main story is basically In this life. lady your your psychologist or whatever <clears throat> is being interviewed and she's asking they're asking her like about each one of your like murder nights basically this is dark so it's murder like a flashback of her. yeah her yeah each night that you murdered <laughs> <laughs> your murder knights that sounds cool that's a good name for a put movie a, i was gonna say put a k in front of the knights and uh make it no make it a cool movie about <laughs> murder knights <laughs> but it's a it's a fun little game i think it's got a lot of replayability and um it's quirky and it's got some weird shit going on like i called the circus and it sent a bear with like gold chains and sunglasses and it just starts fucking dancing and so people get scared of it and run away. So then you can try to like kill all these people by having something happen. Um, and it just walks around for a while and keeps dancing in certain places. And people keep getting scared of it. it. It's fun. It's a fun little game. I plan on playing it a little bit more. And then um, I've been playing Maple Story Two. Which... Nerd. <laughs> It's actually really fun. I, I'm enjoying it. It's just a chibi graphics for you to play MMO. Yeah, I played Maple Story 2 when it came out up until like level 20. Yeah. And then it came like, out like it officially released like this month. Like, yeah. Month. Yeah. And, you, and I, saw you play, I saw you playing it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to download and try it. And, you know, after I hit that point, it's just the same thing over and over. Oh, yeah. It's very repetitive. Although the dungeons are kind of cool to kind of play. They've got different mechanics here and there. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's it's your run-of-the-mill free-to-play MMO. Yeah. You hit a point, and then you're like, well, it's going to be the same shit over yeah. there. It's definitely the cartoon quality and the... I like the facial yeah, animations, though. Like, they've got, like, fully animated characters. So it's not just, like, the same lame face that you get in an MMO. Yeah. It's huh. silly. It's yeah. a silly little game. Yes. It'd be awesome on mobile. Yeah. 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 I was I was thinking that. Or even on Switch. Throw them oh, on Switch. Oh, for sure on the Switch. I need more I need more stuff for Switch. Switch it up. Was an Octopath Traveler enough for you? Oh, <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Biggest disappointment of the year. Still we're just gonna have a whole show at the end of the year where we just shit on that game for an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. God. Why Octopath was the biggest disappointment in my life. It might be one of the biggest disappointments in my life. Like, it's that. It's rare, it's rare that I have ever been so hyped for a game and, and I've been so let down by it. Yeah. Because usually, like, for most games that I end up, like, not liking, I know they're, I'm either taking a chance... Or I know they're going to be bad. But this one looked so good. But and even when I first started playing it, I really liked exactly. it. Exactly. I played that first demo for like six hours. I loved it. It, it no. no. If we ever if we ever make merch for this podcast, uh -huh. we have like a shirt, it'll say, like on the front, it'll say Benzo P Game Show, and then on the back, why Octopath? Why Octopath? <laughs> why? Sad face. With a crying. sad face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta have the sad face. <laughs> no, it needs more. <laughs> it needs, we know we need on this t-shirt more random words. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Sad face? Okay. Are any of these a sentence? Nope. Anything else? <laughs> no. That's all I got. Oh, that's it? That's Party. all. Yeah. Party Logan, hard? Logan doesn't do anything. Yep. He played Red Dead. <laughs> More than you did. That's true. Yeah, That's I played true. a lot. I'm still playing it right now. To the worst. <laughs> Absolute worst. Uh, I'm working on finishing up uh, 
a let's play of Party Hard. I just did like the first level. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get that up by, I don't know, Monday. And then I'll be working on Grip. Grip seems like a pretty grip. cool game. Hmm. Gripity grip. And so hopefully I can get a let's play up of that. So hopefully we start make pumping sure, out more let's Make sure the let's play uh, has the appropriate frame rate. I wouldn't want it to be blurry. Shut up. I hate it. Hey. You're playing it on console. <laughs> I don't even know what console I got it for. Oh, shoot. Wow, you should really sort that part out. <laughs> well, I went to go oh, no, click to on get Xbox. the... Went to click to get the code for so I could load it up, and the page didn't load, so I probably have to get help <laughs> I, with that. Part. I give up. I give up. I don't want this. This game sounds stupid. It actually, I, I watched the video on it. It looks pretty cool. I just didn't want to review it because I just don't have time. What does that weird smiley face mean? Oh, I don't know. Weird smiley face. The Fortnite bush. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, whatever. All right, that's the show. We'll end it with the bush. It's a weird bush. phrase. Uh, <laughs> don't analyze that that's too much. how it is. Anywho. Oh, look, there's another face. What the fuck is that? It's Greg. A blur. Oh, it was so small I couldn't really tell what the hell it was. Th this is upsetting. <laughs> Alright. That's the show every Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time, twitch.tv slash the game fanatics with smiley faces, with cowboys. Uh it hurts. And it's a really good game. I think we can all uh well, most of us can agree. It's really good. It's good so far. But let's, flaws let's are week. there. Yeah, there are it's definitely, definitely not a ten out of ten. You've been sitting for over an hour. Stand up. No. What? This is your Apple Watch speaking. <laughs> I'm not wearing it, just I'm for not... that reason. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really do that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it wants you to get up and move. Well, shut hour. up, lady. <laughs> You're not the boss I of say, me, watch. And I say no. No, no, no.